So you ever wonder what you can do to maintain your refrigerator, not only so it keeps your beer nice and nice and cold, but what about those hot spots that come out of here and, and what can I do to make this thing last longer? We're here, we're here today to talk more about that. Stay with us. Hey everybody, Alan with the Reby Homes team here and it's another five star video Friday tip. And I'm here with Jason, Cutler's Appliance Repair and he's gonna teach us a little bit about what we can do with our refrigerator to make it last longer, work more efficient. And Jason, let us know what we can do. Well, uh, first thing to know about your refrigerator is um, it not only keeps things cold, but it also gets hot doing it. So the, the most important thing to know about your refrigerator is we want to try to keep it cool. It sounds simple. Uh, what you want to do is you want to open up the refrigerator section and the freezer section and just run your hand across the divide there and uh, see how hot that is. Of course, it's important to note that when you're doing this, you want the compressor to be running. If the compressor's not running, the heat's not going to residuate through the machine. But if the compressor had been running recently, I could feel this area. If it was hot to touch, then that means that the machine is in danger of overheating. And what you need to know about that is, is that refrigerators have a set of coils. They'll, they can be located on the lower end underneath. They can be located in the lower end in the rear or just down the back side. That was an older style. We don't really do that anymore. So most likely you'll have to go inside the machine, lower end or in the back, to get to the coil. We want to make sure our coils are clean so the machine can breathe. It'll pull air in from the front to blow the thermal heat off of the compressor out the back. So if we have pets, cats, dogs, more than likely their hair dander is going to clog those uh, coils, um, trapping the heat inside the machine, causing the machine to run more often, uh, have parts go out, um, this is the most expensive electronical device in the house. So it will actually turn itself on and cool itself off, which heats itself back up again. So keeping the coils clean is very important. And we will go over how we're going to do that. Before we do, I want to go over a couple of quick, simple things. You, you have a filter, like for instance, this machine has a filter light reset. Every six months we want to change our filter. Okay, if you have RO, you don't have to worry about changing your filter. But, nope that if you have RO, you do not want to have your filter inside the refrigerator also. So you want to remove the filter. If your machine doesn't work without the filter, you'll have to get a bypass from your local parts store. But try to run your machine without a filter if you're running RO. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the uh, coils. Just to give you a quick view of what coils look like when they get dirty, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this uh, cleaner in here right through the bottom of the machine and we're going to pull it out just so you can see what we have. If you do this at home, you're going to want to make sure that you keep a vacuum nearby and running when you go to start this process because this lint and dust that's in here will fill your house full of dust. I'm only going to do this one time and then I'm going to run the vacuum afterwards. So, that's like I said, just one good pull. That's just the front and only partial of the coil. So we have a lot of cleaning to do here. All right, so uh, we finished cleaning out the uh, bottom side of the uh, coils and we got all of the uh, hair and lint out pretty bad, it's, it's never done, been done before. And I guess the, uh, the one thing to note is this machine will pull the lint, uh, dirt, dander, um, and tear out of the furthest parts of your house. So just like uh, you have to change the filters for your AC unit, which they, they ask that you do that once a month, uh, this machine will actually pull in more lint, more hair, more dirt, more dander than anything else. It's on the ground. So try to think about how much wind and hair ends up inside your AC unit filter and, and uh, try to apply that to this. So you, you want to make sure that you do this once a year. If you're in Arizona, you need to do it before it gets hot. So um, we're going to go ahead and put this thing back on. We've already cleaned it out. The temperature is going to run cooler. It's going to save a lot more money on the electric bill. Most expensive electronic device in the home. Great. Jason, hey, thanks, man. That was a great tip. I had no idea how much was going to be down there. What a massive job that was. Um, so. 
appreciate the insight. I like the idea of saving money on my electric bill, of course. So, again, Jason, the master, any issues with your appliances, Cutler Appliance Repair is a guy to call.